Uh, my name is Kate George Addis. I'm a senior libero from College Station, Texas. I love the culture that Dave and Caitlin and the other coaches have just raised here and just like the sense of discipline and that we're going to do it the Houston way and no one else's way and I think that they've built this program up from like the bottom of the bottom and it's just really cool to be a part of that. So we played club volleyball ever since we were 15. It was a really cool and unique opportunity, honestly, but whenever I was in the transfer portal, I tried my best to keep her out of the equation because like, I didn't want to come to Houston just because I wanted to play with Annie again. I wanted to come to Houston for the school and just playing with Annie would be an added bonus again. Yeah, it's a pretty rare opportunity to go to the Sweet 16. Like, not many people can say that they've done that. And it's honestly very rare to find a group of girls and a group of coaches that just work so well together. So for us to have a lot of returners and get that chance to have a COVID year and return so many people from last year is really, really special. I just want to do it again. <laughs> I mean, it was just so sweet to get that moment because that was all of our first times going, I'm pretty sure. But if we just want it. And we're just hungry to get it again. Adams on the outside off Yonda. Georgiatis chases it down into the table. The point continues, and Georgiatis runs back onto the court. And she's in the play still. This is incredible stuff from Kate Georgiatis. It's always funny because everyone asks me, like, what were you thinking? But I'm pretty sure I just blacked out from adrenaline. But I wasn't thinking about anything other than just getting the ball up. I mean, I wasn't trying to do it just to, like, be famous. But that's just something that came along with it. But I was just trying to help my team out in any way I could. I was at Torchy's eating with Kellen and Morgan the other day. And they were like, are you Kate? And I'm like, maybe. Why? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. And it's just crazy to see, like, what I can do for the sport. Even, like, they don't have to know it's me, but just, like, as a whole, just to know that volleyball is getting more recognition is really cool. It was such a unique opportunity. I think about it all the time because last or two years ago, it was 36 girls and then this past year it was 20. So just to get that natural closer feel with the girls and be able to talk to people from different universities. And I know one of the girls who plays for USC, so I'll get to see her tomorrow. So it's just really cool the bonds that you get to make in such a short amount of time. It just shows that it doesn't matter where you come from, it just matters how hard you work and like all those girls play in the Big Ten or the SEC. So it's just kind of cool to just represent like a mid-major conference one last time and show that like anyone can do it. I mean, we all listen to music in the locker room and then I listened to a video about Kobe Bryant just talking about his work ethic and that just really puts me in a good headspace just to go out and just try to perform my best and take every play, no plays off, just try to get 1% better every single touch. I think he is such an amazing competitor and as a young competitor myself, I just want to try to mimic anything that he did. I would say one of my favorite quotes is try to inspire every, everyone through everything that you do. And I think that's such a cool quote to know as a leader is because you have such an impact verbally and non-verbally. So just to be able to impact people just through my emotions and how I talk to people and just how I play is really cool. You never feel like, oh, I was never like that as a freshman, but everyone was and everyone was once a freshman, but just to be able to pass down some of my knowledge is really unique opportunity because these girls don't know anything and one day I'll leave and they're going to be the next generation up. So just anything that I can do to help is going to be what I'll try to do my next two years here. I would say don't compare yourself. Everyone has a different journey to success. And if you're gonna compare yourself, comparison is just the thief of joy. So don't spend time looking sideways. Just keep your head forward and keep doing what you know you need to do. Come on, come on. Come on. 
I mean, our whole team goal is to make a Final Four. I think the Sweet 16 was nice, but we know that we can do more with that. So I think that's like a really big goal that Dave has been harping on. So definitely the Final Four would be amazing. And then obviously a Big 12 championship would just be a cherry on top. And I think this year we'll get the opportunity to prove ourselves and show that we belong in a Power Five conference. So that's a really unique opportunity as well. But I think in going to the Big 12 again, or for me at least, but it's just gonna be really special just to know that we are gonna be able to show that people that we can compete at a really, really high level.